Okay. Okay, let's get started. For our home version, we usually use minimum equipment and simple glassware. Instead of jigger, we will use small measuring cup. First ingredient will be vodka, we need two ounces. No particular brands, just use the one that you have at home. This new Amsterdam brand is pretty affordable, you can get a bottle for like $10 or so. We will be cutting a lot of lemons today, so let's get a cutting board. Roll lemon for a little bit and then just cut it in half. Normally I would use a squeezer, but if you don't have one right now, just squeeze lemon with your hands. I need one ounce of juice, so I need to squeeze entire lemon. Okay, perfect, let's move this. And now we need quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. And if you don't want to leave your house to get it at the store, just mix equal parts sugar and water. Now let's fill up our jar with ice, close it pretty tight and shake it with a smile. If you don't shake it hard but actually chill like I'm here, it will take about 20 seconds. You can take another glass and strain it over fresh ice, but we're gonna use simple way. So just add more of the fresh ice on top. Now it's pretty much completely full. Okay, let's pop a new soda bottle, ready? And now slowly fill it up all the way to the top. Oh, we need to bring back our favorite cutting board to make a garnish. Let's make medium-sized orange wheel, one regular maraschino cherry. We're going to stick them together nicely with a metal cocktail pick. Then just place it on top of the drink like that. And our first Vodka Collins home version is ready. Really hope you liked it. And if it's too simple for you, let's start working on our pro version of Vodka Collins. This time we'll be using shaker and I will put all ingredients in a 16 ounces mixing glass. As usual for pro version, we gear up with some bar tools. We will use two ounces of premium Canadian vodka kindly provided by Mad Lab Distilleries. Also a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Just like in the previous version, you can make your own syrup at home or get bottled at the store. Now we need fresh juice from one lemon, so let's roll it. Cut edges so it will be easier to squeeze it. We need one ounce of juice, you can use a jigger, but here I work pretty much with the same size lemons most of the time, so I already know there's usually one ounce of juice in each lemon. Let's move to my favorite part and make perfect ice spear from this large ice block. Using a saw, let's make a cut on one side. Now using a large knife and mullet, tap it a few times on top and your first perfect cut is ready. Well, our rough cut obviously is too big, so we need to make a few more adjustments. I always work with the same glassware, so I know what size of ice I need. So the same way I'm going to cut another piece. I'm gonna save this piece because it's gonna perfectly work for our cocktails in a raw glass. It's still a little bit oversized. Now use a knife, I'm going to make few adjustments to make it perfect. And if you're still confused what's going on here, I recommend to check out a video we posted not too long ago, how to make clear eyes, home pro and expert versions. And don't thank me for this satisfying sound, so let's just enjoy it for a few more seconds. <laughs> Now it's perfect. Let's put it on the side and bring our cocktail so it's ready to be shaken. Let's fill it up our mixing glass with ice, close it and make sure to shake it with a smile. Here is our chilled Collins glass. I'm going to add ice spear now, but you also can do it after you strain cocktail from shaker. I also would recommend to use fine strainer as well. For this version, we'll be using sparkling water from Siphon. Of course, we prepared this one before and loaded with single charger. But if you'd like to have more carbonation in your drink, you can load two charges, but not recommended. Another enjoyable sound coming in two, one. Yep, that one. Lightly shake it a few times and it's ready to go. Oh yeah, and always test it before you use it. Now fill it up to the top. Now let's cut small orange peel, squeeze it on top of the drink, and we'll garnish this version with premium cocktail cherry and dehydrated orange. I'm going to stick them together with metal cocktail pick so it will be easier to put it on the side of the drink. And our pro version is ready. Please let me know in the comments which version you're excited to make right now, one or two. And to properly celebrate 200,000 subscribers on this channel, I made probably the largest vodka Collins ever. I wanted to include it in this video, but then decided to ask you first if you would like me to post it and show it to you for entertainment purposes. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see it and please share this tutorial with someone who would like to make and drink cocktails and I'll see you in the next video.